another episode of The Dark Guy Chains of Satinov, if yours truly are can. I hope you guys are enjoying these little bit of uh, background episodes. Give me one quick moment here. Uh, shut up. <laughs> um, thank you guys for, uh, for enjoying these episodes. I get all kinds of comments from you guys, and one thing I have to be very thankful for is we finally reached 110 subscribers. This past week, which means that uh, Minecraft is going to be moving to five days a week as well. I am not entirely too sure how I am going to do that. I'm going to try my best, and I'm just going to be recording back to back to back to back, starting from eight o'clock in the morning till probably about five p.m. Um, not sure how that's going to work out, but it's going to be a lot of pre-recorded episodes. So if you guys got any ep any ideas that you want me to uh, implement into the games please let me know and we will do that so until next time let's get into this game and let's keep starting so last time we got the key from prison all right let's just get into the game <laughs> let's just get into the game And not responding, as you can see. Yeah, it's because it was moved around on the screen quite a few times. That's okay. Alright, one moment. Alright, guys, and welcome back. So, what were we doing last episode? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Follow Nori to the lifeboat, give Nori this. Alright. We got to, let's see here. Nori gives a great idea for hiding the key from the guard. All right, we got to go back, and we're going to take the prism. Okay. All right, so now we're going to go take a prism. And that would be... Locked. No, really. All right, go back there and use the key. Use the key. Easy now. Uh, did we just get the prism? Did we just seriously just get the prism? Chest, open it. The prism. Take the Got damn it. But how can I get it past the guard? Hmm. Use the hammock to transfer. Say. All right. Throw the wooden box of prism out the window. All right, can we close this thing? Could you please close this? As if the guy won't notice it. Okay, um... Take the prism, take the wooden box on the armor. Right? All right, because wood floats, that makes sense. All right, and combine those the two. The prism fits perfectly. Alright, now do me a favor, buddy. Take this thing and throw it out the window. <laughs> what? Now the boozers have started to throw bottles. Oh, how I'm fed up with the north. Yeah, well, here's the thing. We've been outside and... I don't know. Let's, let's just go. <laughs> we just took that key. We just took that prism and just like threw it out the window like... Poof! This guy's none the wiser. He doesn't even know what's going on. He's just chilling there like... Right. Doesn't even know the chest was open behind him. It was stolen. It was right out the window. He's like, who was that? Who was that? Oh, it's just the boozer is throwing bottles at <laughs> I guess he nori. Say, Nuri? Did you catch it? No, quit. Yeah, go take a bath. You know what, just for right Can now. Can talk once more with the chap in the bathhouse? But you don't have to jump into his tub again. Oh, don't worry. I like doing that. I just meant... <laughs> I love to bathe. Again and again. Hmm. Well, Nuri, you can hop on my bath anytime. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's see here. If I only knew how to swim. 
Oh, tell me we didn't do something stupid. Get a, use the hammock. Okay. Use the hammock. Aha! Alright, reel it in! Reel it in! Alright, here you go, reel it in! Fix be sent. Alright! To get the prism and the wooden box, go to the fairy gate. Talk to the fairy man. Alright! Uh, I am terribly sorry, uh, mister. We just kind of, uh... We just kind of took your stuff. I, um... I need... I just put her in the bathhouse. We need to get out of here. We need to go talk to the ferryman and get out of town. Um, Nori, get out of the bath. Seriously. It's time to leave. <laughs> Go wait Say, for Nuri? Yeah. Send Nori outside. That's enough now. Come out of the top now. Take care, Bathmaster. Do you really have to leave so early, Honey Pie? I dare you to look now. <laughs> Goodbye, guy. Goodbye, mister. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> All right. Um, send her to the fairy man. Can we do that? Say, Nuri. Quit. No, I'll never be back mind. In a minute. I'm not sending her to the bathhouse. No, we're gonna go and over here, and we're gonna head up and talk to the fairy guy. All right, let's do. Let's do this. We got a boogie before they find out that thing is missing. Ferryman? Huh? Passage to the swamp. Let's go. Uh huh? Come on, Yuri. We're leaving. But this one, I'm just guessing on my own. Way. It's time to go. We'll just follow the light of the crystal. Awesome. Why hasn't the ferryman taken us any further? The ferryman was spooked by the surroundings. Is it spooky around here? Are you frightened? No, not as long as you're here. Ah, poor Nori. Achievement, wet feet. Is this the end of your world already? Yes, we'll be there soon. So how come it's so dark here? You said Fenglari is a beautiful place. And shouldn't we see the green sky on the horizon by now? Fanglari is hidden. Fanglari would be too easy to find if everybody could see it from afar. I guess you're right. Oh, Garen. It all sounds so marvelous, as if soon all my dreams will come true. <laughs> Tell me, isn't there a princess in Fanglari? Do you know if she's happy? There's no princess more happy than the one in Fanglari. She lives in a tower of almond wood together with the king of the chestnuts. <laughs> and every night, the animals of the forest sing a lullaby for her that can be heard even beyond the hills of the ebony mountains. And does she ever leave her tower? I really don't know. Give me a moment. Um... Nori gives, a ne gave, gives her necklace... And answer her any way you want. Sh the lover, the uh, lovers. The princess of Fanglari loves to travel. That's why there are doors leading everywhere throughout the tower. The clothes trunk leads to the desert, and there's a window to a lonesome island in the attic. Don't you believe me? I believe you, Garen. Hmm. Ever since I left the fairy world behind, I've always dreamt of a land like Fanglari. Soon it will come true, and it sounds even more beautiful than I ever imagined. Just you wait until we get there. That's not it. I want to give you something. 
Your necklace, but... I'll be in Fanglari soon, and then I'll be able to use magic without limitations. Until then, I want you to wear it for me. But how... how will you be able to use magic without the fairy water? You do the magic. Me? I'm giving my magic to you. Then you'll be able to fix all the things you've smashed before. <laughs> I don't know if I... Take it already. Wonderful. An endless night at the end of the world. How fitting. Fitting for what? Why, for our bond of love. Accept it. Nuri, you trust me, whatever happens, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's fitting. <laughs> Ladies, man. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Ladies, man. Raven. Shh. Poor Geron. You'll wake him up. Where have you been all this time? I went to get an overview. And you? We're going to Fanglari. I'll finally be able to use magic again. There are rainbow beavers there, and I'll be safe from the seer. And we'll take you along, too. To Fanglari? It's beautiful there. The skies are green, and time is eternal. Well, well. Green skies, you say? Uh-oh. Why do I got a bad feeling about this? Good morning, Yuri. Awake already? Um, about last night. Let's not talk about it. All right. I think it's best to use the rowboat to follow the light of the prism. And then we'll be at the gate to Fanglari soon. All we need is a paddle. But I'll take care of that. I've taken care of everything else so far, haven't I? Right. So he needs only a paddle. Take the blade. Alright. Can you help me drag the cart out of the muck? What for? You're right. There's a hatchet. All right, take take the blade of spade at the bottom right, which we already did. Um, take the hatchet on the post. Uh, use the hatchet on the cart. I figured as much. I was just thinking about that. What are we gonna do with all this stuff? I mean, look at this. We got the prism. We got all this stuff. Let's take the hatchet and all right, use it on that. All right, um, get the handle. All right, now let me take a guess on this one. All right, let me, what, whoa, 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 computer, stop it. Thank you. All right, um, let's see here. Combine the blade of power with the handle. Combine the blade of spade with the handle. Aha. Uh, uh, do we got one more item in here? No. That's how you make a paddle. Okay. The boat still looks usable. You think so? No, you're right. Find a working boat. Check the boat. Right. Use the blue reassemble magic on the boat. If I have your magic talent now, I'll just wish the holes away. It worked. You see? Marvelous. All that's missing is a paddle. Oh, for crying out loud. Fanglari, here we come. Let's go. No cutscene? Seriously, no cutscene. Grab the rope. If the boat floats away, I will have no choice. I'll have to follow Nuri to Fanglari in that case. I mean, to her world. There you go. 
All right, what else we got? Is there something inside here? No. Uh, perforated boat. Oh, a boot. Okay. Um, what do we got over here? Strange plant. If I simply rip out the plant, it'll die. All right, then Yuri will chew me out again. Yeah, we don't want to do that. All right, let's see here. We got a tree trunk. We got Nori. We got a hollow tree. All right. All right, so we're in the marshes now. That's not so bad. Okay. Um, did I just click on something stupid? Where did he go? Rooted in too firmly for me to topple it. Well, who in the world said we were going to topple it? Take the axe, take the hatchet, and chop the tree. There's always a way. There we go. We can't get down there without a rope. All right, um... Try to take the strange plant at the right. Use the spade to dig out the strange spitting plant. The spade. This is a ghost light. All right, um... Perforated boat, rope, spade. Let's go dig the plant up. Ouch! That stuff stings! Nameless weed! Check the hollow tree at the center of the marsh. Alright. Oh, he's digging it up. Cool! Did we, uh, I guess we picked it up. Alright. Use the hatchet on the tree trunk at the left. Use the rope on the hollow tree. Well, okay. That sounds reasonable. Go down. Hurry. I forgot to investigate the strange light. I'll go first. No, I'll go first. If I'm turned to stone, don't follow me. If you're turned to stone, you won't be able to warn me either. light is this? Nuri, don't come closer. What's that? Stop! Are you crazy? It almost saw you. You stay behind this rock, understand? I'll think of something so we can get past this creature. Hmm. Here's a plan. Here's a good idea, everybody. Alright. Disable the guardian of the gates. Hmm. Look around, see the large eye watching everything. Peacock. Check the peacock scene. You know what? Can we just... If it notices me, I'm dead. Um... When she touches it, a light beam is produced. Check the peacock on the sand. Right click the statue of the peacock and Nori will want to check the peacock. Okay, right click it. A peacock? Just a statue. We shouldn't be here. A herald from Fanglari. He's welcoming us. How do you know? Are there more of them where we're going? Oh. Did you do that? A glowing peacock. <laughs> Okay, um, to the mirror's mirror, the eye follows the light. All 
All right, the light beam is directed to the nearest mirror. The, mi the eye follows the light. Ask Nori to touch the light again. Touch the peacock again. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, Nori, could you touch the peacock again? Nori? Could you touch... Touch the statue again. So beautiful. The light reflections seem to catch the monster's attention. Ah. Okay, so focus it on the left. That makes sense. Let's put it towards the oil. All right. Ask Nori to touch it. The eye is fixed. It'll turn the peacock to focus on the pull of lamp. Now the eye faces left. Take the nearest mirror on the right. All right, get back over here. Um, <laughs> turn the peacock to focus on the pool. All right. Take the mirror on the right. Let's see here. Go right and see a mushroom hovering dragonfly. Take the mushroom. Um, oh, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. What did I just do? Ooh. All right, go back to the peacock. Turn the peacock to focus the leer on the top of the worm. All right, we got to disable the eye. That's what I did wrong. All right. T go right and see a mushroom hovering dragonfly. The worms that dug these holes must be quite big. Use the hammock to capture the bo A petrified woman, a mirror, petrified bat. Oh, the dragonfly right there. All right, use the hammock. Give us the hammock. The hammock, 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 hammock. Alright. See a mushroom heaven. Take the mushroom. Take the mushroom. Take the mushroom. Alright. Um, examine the petrified woman. Whatever she hoped would be waiting on the other side, she was willing to risk her life for it. Ooh. Examine the petrified woman. Take the petrified bat at the bottom right. Examine the eye and see that there is a lens protecting the eye. That's a creature. Do we take this? Hold off. All right. Use the hammock to catch the dragonfly. Examine the petrified woman. Take the uh, petrified bat on the bottom right. Examine the eye and see that there is a lens protecting the eye. A lens made of glass is protecting the eye. Oh, cool. Okay. Use the yellow disassemble magic on the eye to break the lens. All right. No, hold that thought. Is there anything over here? A giant worm? A hole? Okay. We don't want to grab the mirror, not just yet. Alright. Yellow disassemble. Uh oh. Okay. Examine the giant worm on the right. It is full of holes. Place the spitting plant on the large... Ooh. It's all hollow, like a smokestack made of stone. Oh, so we're going to blind it. Oh, that is so cool. 
The head of the plant is directed precisely towards the eye through the moor. Oh, we would never have figured that out. <laughs> Alright, use a flint and tinder on the large hole to irritate the, uh... Alright, that's the hole. Use a flint and tinder. I must have completely lost my mind. Awesome! Use the flint and tinder to irritate the spitting plant. Then the plant spits the eye and the eye recedes. Alright, um... Ooh, cave entrance. Should we take this mirror? Firmly wedged in. All right, maybe there's a way to we uh, fix a woman. Go left and take the broken oil lamp. Holes. I have to pour it into something. Okay, yeah, that's... Use the water bladder to collect the, uh, water bladder. Seriously? Well, I guess it is called a water bladder. Good luck having something to drink. Alright, guys. I'm gonna end this episode out here for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We conquered a worm. We, uh, got to kiss Nori and, you know, love with fairies. You guys know what that's like. All right. Take care, everybody. Have yourself a wonderful day. See you next week. Later.